What's going on, y'all? Uh, before I get into this video, I just want to address some things. Uh, read the comments. I know some of you are tired of my intro video. I get it. I agree. I'm tired of it, too. I've had it for a while, and it's on my to-do list to get a new one this year, but higher on that priority list this year is to get a logo. So I won't get a new intro video until I get a new logo, which is still probably a ways away, because right now I'm, I'm focusing on engineering and... Uh, growing my podcast, the uh, Faders Up podcast, but we'll have a new intro video coming sometime this year. And uh, you know, for now, I'm just gonna kind of shorten the video for what I have now because, yeah, I, I get it. I'm tired of hearing uh, the intro too. But to get into uh, this video, I want to show you the quickest way to remove an insert from a track in Studio One. So I've got the Fat Channel on this track here. And we're all familiar with copying it. It's just clicking and moving it over. And, you know, even when we do that and we see copy effect, if you hold shift, you got the option to move it. In removing an effect, commonly we click that, click the drop down, go down to remove. Uh, you can also right click and go to remove. The quickest way, though, is if you hold command while you're dragging. Now you see I have the option to remove. So this is quicker because it removes a step. So instead of right clicking and going to remove or hitting the drop down and going to remove, just click and drag. Now if you have the plugin on multiple channels with multiple tracks selected, you hold command and move, it's only going to remove the one that you've clicked on. If you want to remove them from multiple tracks at once, you'll need to right click or hit the drop down with all the tracks selected and remove them all from there. But uh, there is the quickest way to remove a plugin from a track in Studio One. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.